If Stonewall Jackson takes Culp's Hill and Cemetery Hill, okay. They've defeated two Army Corps. Yeah, Battle of Gettysburg's won. Woohoo! We're going well. But that's not the ultimate battle of the campaign. That's the penultimate battle of the campaign. Remember, Meade's moving men. He's got the 12th Corps coming onto the field. He's got Winfield Scott Hancock. These guys had fought a rear guard action in Chancellorsville that was amazing, that saved part of Hooker's army. They know how to fight a rear guard. And if they're going to fight a rear guard, they're going to get onto a place called Pipe Creek. I'm not going to say they're going to end up at Pipe Creek. The Confederates are going to chase them down. But if everything plays out like everybody wants it to at Gettysburg, yeah, okay, the Confederates won the Battle of Gettysburg. What's the next big battle, though? The Battle of Gettysburg is not the Battle of Gettysburg you want them to win when Pickett's Charge doesn't happen or X, Y, and Z. This is just a top 10 battle, but it is not the battle. It is not the ultimate battle of the Civil War. It's not the one that everyone around the world knows. We still have five other corps, if we're Robert E. Lee, we have to contend with. And by the way, his new chain of command didn't do well. Robert Rhodes sustained 2,500 casualties. Henry Heath, man, he was a hot mess on, on July 1st. William Dorsey Pender made Pickett's Charge-esque attacks at Cemetery Ridge. So there's three of your nine divisions, infantry divisions, off the table. Same thing happens July 1st at Gettysburg. Go on to July 2nd, you got to fight somewhere else south of the town. So the Battle of Gettysburg, okay, Samuel Jackson shows up. But what battle does he actually win? He doesn't win the battle you know. He wins a second battle. And quite frankly, I don't think he wins a battle anyways. But I'm giving you guys this, this bone for once. Meade had a backup plan. Not going to say the backup plan would have worked. But Meade still had five infantry corps and two-thirds of his calf to throw into the field. Not to mention some men over into the works of Washington. And he's defending Baltimore and Washington like he needs to. And he's interdicted himself and interposed himself between Lee's army and Richmond. This is what the actual battle looks like at Gettysburg. That's July 2nd, but who knows? And then, of course, if Stonewall Jackson wins or lives or whatever, they win the Battle of Gettysburg. Don't forget the Western Theater. I feel bad for those guys out there. There's this like Battle of Shiloh and Vicksburg Falls, and there's this place in Tullahoma that only Dave Powell cares about. And like, <laughs> Lincoln's going to write in 1862 to one of the French, uh, to the French consulate, and say. Yeah, we might be losing over here, but look at everything we're doing out here. And Lee and Jackson can keep up this dance over here as long as they want. They're not getting to the strategic end. The Federals are getting closer and closer to their strategic end. The Southern Confederacy is shrinking. The Mississippi River has been cut off. They're moving into the heartland of Tennessee. They're eventually going to go into North Georgia and keep coming up. Yeah, Stonewall Jackson and Robert E. Lee can keep bleeding this army white. The war is being won in the West. 